Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this video is going to be about Switch emulation through Reujinx on a Mac. If you haven't installed Reujinx already, then please make sure to follow the link in the description for my tutorial video. This video is going to be about how to unlock 60 frames per second for most Switch games on a Mac. So most games on the Switch are actually built for say 30 frames per second frame caps. However, this can be worked around through cheats and patches, which I'm going to show you how to do today. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So there's a really good thread on the GBA 10 website, which I'll leave a link to in the description. And it's the 60 FPS cheats section for the Nintendo Switch. And here we've got cheats or patches for basically every single game that supports 60 FPS. So the example we're going to use today is Diablo 2 Resurrected. So I've clicked on the spoiler tag here and it's located this particular patch. And so this is basically a kind of text code and it's quite easy to recreate. All you have to do is click on the spoiler icon, type in text edit. And then basically we want to create a new document and then we're going to change the format into plain text so click make plain text and basically we're going to copy and paste this text code Control click copy and then paste this into this text code here and then we want to save the file as the bid the build id so i've got this build id here there are several depending on what's called the title id you can basically experiment so i'm going to control click and press copy and when i save this i'm going to save this onto my desktop and i want to call it that build ID and then we're going to put it on our desktop as a text file. So that's been created here and basically we need to put it into the correct place and then we're going to control click on Diablo 2 Resurrected and then click on open mods directory. So here we want to control click and create new folder and then type in cheats, double click and then basically insert that text file into there. And then we're gonna go back to Ryujinx, right click on Diablo 2 Resurrected and click Manage Cheats. And basically it's detected that text file. And then we have those two options that were in that text file, 60 FPS or default 30 FPS. So I'm gonna enable 60 FPS, press save. And now when I launch the game, this is now gonna run in 60 frames per second instead of the locked 30 that it was before. So I definitely say that the game is extremely playable and it runs very well. The frame rate hovers between around 42 to 55 FPS. There are some stutters here or there, and there is one monster which I noticed didn't render correctly at all. But overall, the game feels very playable, even when there are lots of enemies on screen. The frame rate doesn't seem to dip below 40, which is pretty decent. So now I've shown you the cheats method for unlocking 60 FPS, but now there is another method which is called the vSync method. This works for some, but not all games. So Reujinx on a Mac does feature quite a lot of screen tearing, and there is a vSync button on the bottom left hand side of the screen. It doesn't function like a traditional vertical synchronization, however it does unlock the frame rates in some games. So for example in Fire Emblem Three Houses, if you disable vSync, it will actually go to 60 frames per second, no special cheat or patch is required. So anyway, those are the two methods for getting 60 FPS working on Reujinx on a Mac. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.